Hey, kids, you know it's cool. Ice. Ugh, fuck, that's terrible. Can we restart? Nope. God damn it. <laughs> Denied. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode 20 of Not Mistaken, our Pokemon Soul Silver Chance Lock. In the last episode, we took down the rest of the Team Rocket hideout and started on the gym. And basically beat, I think, everyone except one trainer and the gym leader. And it is, so we're going to be taking on those two people and then proceeding to the rest of the game. So if you guys are hyped for some more Chance Lock, be sure to smash like window below for us. Because you already know it's really appreciated. And if you guys are hyped for another episode with James, because, you know. It's interesting that I've only been here for this is, gym battles. Yeah, well, three, some gym battles. For some also, I'd like to say the opportunity to point out that in, in episode 20 of the, of the Y Wonderlog, James is here, so. Maybe, she, maybe we can make it a thing where every episode 20, James is here. I don't know, let me know. And that's the question of the day. Should we do that? No, the question of the day, thank you for reminding me of that, is what is your favorite ice type Pokemon? I override you. No, you, 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 have, you have no, you do not have the... I have the power here. No, you do not. I am, this is my series, this is my series. You wanna rip off my series and record and upload it onto your own channel? Then that's fine, do that. I don't have that. my own channel. You technically do. No, I don't. If you, if you didn't have your own channel, you wouldn't be able to comment on that one episode. Anyways. <laughs> my favorite ice type- Google Plus thing. My favorite ice type is Glalie. What's yours? What's your ice type? Glaceon, I guess. Glaceon, okay. Like Anyways, let's have a team recap. See what we're going to here. First off, we have Diesel, level 33, our series naked later on. I did do a little bit of off-screen training with some of our Pokemon. And still holding the quick clock. She's not too fast, but she's rocking um, Strength Iron Head Protecting Rock Tomb. Then we have Red Levi, level 33, our shiny, lonely naked Gyarados. Uh, holding the King's Rock now to get on flinches. Uh, only for the gym battle, though. After the gym battle, I might give the King's Rock just like Sea Drone. Anyways, he's, anyways uh, he's rocking Bite, Dragon Rage, Surf, and Ice Fang. Then we have Anatesla with 34, our mod sneaker Espeon, holding the choice specs, which I found in the Lake of Rage off screen. Uh, rocking Shadow, Confusion, Swift, and Sand Attack, so we're gonna need to find a, four, a, a good fourth move to replace Sand Attack with if we're gonna have specs Espeon. We have Camel with 34, our admin anchor Weeping Bell. This time I'll need experience share, because I want Cam to get as much experience as possible so we can get the, that victory bell as soon as possible. Uh, and we try, yeah, rocking vine, vine whip, cut, attract, and sleep powder. And Steve Drum level 34, our lonely kid goodbye, holding no item right now, but the King's Rock after the gym battle. Uh, rocking Dragon Rage, Dragon Claw, Earthling, Sandstorm. Then QB level 34, our quick nature nine tails, also have holding no item because I just can't f figure out a good item to give it. Rocking Flinter, Willow's Confused Rangle, Quick Attack. Oh, wait, James. Okay. Let's uh, go, hang on, I need to check my, my potion stock. Okay, I have 20 I have 20 hyper potions. Do you think I'm good? No, but 30 moon moon monks. 30 Oh yeah, that, that's going to be like a, that's going to be like our own personal meme. I need to make an inside joke. We need to make a, yeah, an inside joke. Well, I I can make a meme out of that actually. Like a, <laughs> the meme? Yeah. Buy 30 moon moon like, monks. Like premier milk. Hold on, yeah, <laughs> premier milk. That should be that should be a totally a thing. Uh, okay. Um I need to do that. I think I think that's what I, I need to do. And then uh, I want to battle this girl first, though. Take my parallel turn. Parallel turn. Oh, is that what you're doing right now in the sprite? Okay. Parallel is, where, is when the speed uh, is parallel. Oh, okay. And you turn. Sure. Without um, going into pizza. Uh, I guess Red Levi. <laughs> and I know that everybody has seen this meme. If you're French, why wouldn't you shoot a pizza? You're gonna have a bad time. Oh. I've seen the kind of memes where, like, if you're going to, like, Mount, if you're going to, like, Mount Moon with a repel or something, you're gonna have a bat time. Or if you go, or if you go against a legendary with no healing items or something, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah. That's uh, what that's let me on. Dragon Rage this thing real that's quick. That, that is what that is based off of. Ice Shard. Yeah. Ice Shard and Dugong. I just kind of did a red leaf I against Dugongs for, just, because, really no particular reason. I don't know why. Uh, okay, how much of a dragon are you gonna do? Uh, okay, this is gonna take a bit. This might take a bit. Might be here for a while, but you know what? That's okay. Is that okay, James? No. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I've let you all down. <laughs> I feel like the commentary on this episode is just a bit better when I have two people, because then we can have, like, an actual conversation instead of me just, like, Stating, sta stating, what's, stating what's going on in, in, in the battle and just, or just having a conversation with the voices inside of talking me. about like randomly th random things 
Anyways, uh, that dugong actually didn't take as much time as I thought it would to defeat. Are there any more Pokemon in this battle? Uh, no. They are not. So that's the only Pokemon in that battle. Was Alright, now we have what we need to take on Price. The Price is right now. Okay, I'm not gonna go there. We already made enough puns as this, so I'm, not gonna, I'm also not gonna make a pun about Price's name having ice in the sound of it. That's probably why they made his name Price. Like, why? With a Y. I mean, if they made an I, that would have been also like the word Price, but at the same time, also would have had like actually the word ice in it. Anyways, I'm gonna start off and we're gonna take on Price. Pokemon have many experience in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I'm your elder, let me show you what I mean. I've been training Pokemon since before you were born, sonny boy. I did not lose easily. I Price, the winter trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Okay. Alright, Price, bring it on, Dick. Alright, she's gonna lead off the seal. Seal, seal, level 30. Okay, I think we're at a good level then. Uh, let me protect and see what you're gonna go for. So it's always good to protect and see what your opponent's gonna go for. Um, uh, Icy Wind. I'm gonna stay on Rock Team. I need to take more risks in this playthrough. And really, the only risk I'm gonna be taking is that the thing has a water type move. Yeah. Which I should be able to live, but still, yeah. And speed Fell. I see when we resist that, so that's a new not much damage, but he's also gonna get the speed lower, so there's that. Yeah. Alright. Let's go for another rock tomb. Um, but does that mean this thing doesn't have any water tomb? Because if he had a water tomb, wouldn't he have gone for it against a Laron? Oh my god. Are you seriously gonna play this game, Price? I mean, I know you're old, and old people like to take naps, but still. Your Pokemon are not old. Your Pokemon are like level 30. I don't know. I brought this up in in, in, uh, in, in um, like an older episode, and I want to hear your opinion on those games. Do you think Pokemon's levels are kind of like their ages? Nope. No. Oh, yes, Snore. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my God, Snore. Snore Seal, the new meta. The new LC meta. I can imagine that. Oh God damn it. I just used um, hold back on a Pokemon. Hold back. It used Encore. <laughs> Lol. That's not as bad as one time when I was battling Norman in my Omega Ruby. That's like I used to bulk up and use Encore. It's like, so it's like I got the plus six attack and defense and I just mock punch this entire team. Wow. I talk, I've talked about that a lot on my channel, I feel like, but. You know, it's just one of those best moments. I should have made that a channel highlight. But then again, that, that happened before, channel highlights were, before my channel highlights were, were a thing. Because my first channel Did highlight that I made. Though? Yeah, because my first channel highlight that I made was uh, when it took like only like literally a minute to beat Tate and Liza. Oh my god, this is gonna be a stall. This is gonna be a stall war, I can tell. Where's Tate and Liza? Uh, they're the psychic gym leaders, the seventh gym. You should, Genji, you should know that you played the original Sapphire. Huh. Snort, really? We're gonna snort. I love how it shakes the ground too. I'm just gonna do this until I run out of rock teams and I'll figure out something else to do. Aaron is a good Pokemon. Yeah, shout out to, shout out to Diesel. Snore. Uh, oh, true. Cause I gave, uh, cause I bred some- ARE YOU SERIOUS RIGHT NOW?! <laughs> I, okay, I want you all to know something. In episode 20 of my Omega Ruby Nuzlocke, that I didn't record again because I didn't record a single episode of the Omega Ruby Nose Log with James. I was battling with Nona and she spammed Roost. I am reliving that all over again. Except Rust is better than, uh, I mean, worse than Roost because it heals you fully. Whereas Roost only does half. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. Diesel, you did a great job, but it's time to bring in the real power. Choice. Specs Amethyst. Alright, we can eat up a snore. <laughs> now you're playing with power. Super power. Uh, you know, I actually, I actually, there was an episode called Playing with Power. That was where I took on Morty and uh, QB and Seafoodrome evolved. Huh. How do the choice specs confuse and not kill? I mean, yeah, it's only 50 base power, but it's stab and choice specs. And we're <laughs> modest. I just got the best zoom in on Gloom's face. Oh god. Oh god. It was amazing. Oh god. Majestic. Uh, Pyloswine. 
Hello. Um, Pilot Swine. We have a Gyarados. And this isn't Sisk so freeze dry in that thing, so. Freeze dry? Freeze dry. It's basically an ice oh, type, an ice type move that, that was in, no, it's an ice type move. Oh, wow. Introducing Gen 6. It's got 70 base power, it's special, but it's super effective against water types, whereas most ice type moves are resisted by water types. That must have hurt. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Can you just like bang his head against the desk? Uh. Yo, shout out to this carpet. <laughs> That's the carpet that I'm recording on. Oh, of course you have six So does that mean this is Ace? Wait, why is, uh, is, oh, Blizzard. Oh, gosh. But why is Price's Ace lower level than Jasmine's? Am I missing something here? Um, yes. Because Jasmine's Ace was 35. I mean, I, know, I've already, I already know that I was supposed to take on certain parts of this game. Oh, we avoided Blizzard, nice. But I know I already know I was supposed to take on certain parts of this game before I did. Like I should have take, taken on like the whole Lake of Rage incident before I took on Chuck. But I mean, I was trying to had, had, had I guess the intended order is supposed to take on Chuck. Then I don't know. And like Dugong's coming out. Let's go back into our choice specs Espeon. And let's just uh, wrap this up real quick. But is this your ace actually? No, because. No, it's, well, first of all, it's not because I can see the level, but also, their aces always have citrus berries in this game. Alright, confusion. Now, we already know from the seal that this is not going to kill, but how much are they going to do? Okay, they did half. Aurora Beam, we can eat that up. We can eat it up. Ooh, we might be both. Willow is his middle name. Willow is flexible, not easily broken, and not giving up yet. Okay, well, I mean, you know, you kind of, you kind of... Like, you're not gonna win. You realize that, right? Yeah. Oh, that was a crit. The crit totally mattered. <laughs> 904. 603. 4389. Don't call that number. I don't know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed by our prowess. With your strong one, I can... Over you, will you will overcome all ice obstacles. We're worthy of this all bag. Ice Did I just hear you say all ice obstacles? No, I said all life's obstacles. Life's. Ice. Light. Ice. Shut the fuck up. No. A bag of a special stats of Pokemon. Really? That, that's a thing in this game? Baggies, nice. baggies raise stats? What the hell? So that means this bag raises... Cause I, know, I know in Gen 1, special is a stat, and that combines special defense and special attack. But does that mean this raises both special attack and special defense? That's kind of OP. And we'll sneak your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. As opposed to fake Whirlpools? And this, that's the gift from me. TM07, a tail. Man, you could give me something like Ice Beam, you could give me me Blizzard. No, you give me fucking hail. Cause I totally have Snow Cloak. I can't connect hail. I, I, I summoned a hailstone last for five times. The hailstone damage all times without ice. I don't know. It's, I can't understand what Don't ask me. Here. You can, well, oh, I didn't say you're like at the side of the bed, but actually you're not. I'm, I'm right above you. Fair point. All right. Oh God, what now, Professor Elm? Prof Elm. Devin, I was in gold. I called because the only words coming to the radio broadcast. I'm talking about Team Rocket. Devin, you know anything about uh, that? Maybe Team Rocket is no, like I can't be trusted. Sorry about you. Take care. Wow. Okay. Um, that was. <laughs> escalated quickly. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know if I have to take on the radio tower right now, or do I? Okay, apparently I do. Uh, the, the pasture here, go to the like, oh, I know the front of the wood, one of the side, okay, so I have to take on the radio tower first. The radio tower crap. What is the egg in, uh, Flannery Town? Yeah, it's, uh, um, I don't know. Flowerage Town. Why are you asking? Because you're the resident Pokemon expert. Am I really? Yes. More than me. Are you sure? Definitely. Really? Why? There's uh, your hint. Here's your hint. You you left play them. <laughs> I actually do. I actually do know. I'm just trying to give them like obvious, not obvious hints. You're not doing any obvious hints. <sighs> All right, give uh, Seaf Drone the max repel. I'm gonna have Le Red Levi up front because Red Levi is our lowest level. And uh, we're gonna proceed with Team Rocket shenanigans. Actually, I should probably scoop up Vicious because Vicious has fly. 
and it would be easier for me to fly than to go uh, down the water to Echo Teak, then go down through like the grass all the way to Goldenrod. <sighs> okay, where's the uh, vicious? Okay, vicious. This shields. Um, we'll drop off uh, the, the, the secret room. Because why not? I guess. I don't know. We're, we're going we're gonna to pick up Cephadrome out as soon as we get back to, as soon as we get to Goldenrod, so it doesn't really matter either way, but I don't know. I'm rambling. I'm just rambling. What? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm actually nervous about this upcoming bit because I know at the end of the, of the uh, Radio Tower there's a battle that I remember I won't find one of those playing through Soul Silver as a regular playthrough and not in those lock. I lost like all my Pokemon to the final battle at the Radio Tower, so. <sighs> Maybe it would be good to look into that, see if, see if, see if, guess, guess, guess so I know what level I need to be at. Cause, I don't want to, like, find out I need to be at level, like, 40 or something. That'd be interesting. <sighs> it's level, well, I mean, they have, a, there's, like, this game has had, like, level jumps before. I mean, then again, I mean, then again, it's not really, I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go to the... Radio Tower. Oh wait, no, we need to do the. I just remember we need to not do. We need to go somewhere else, basically. We need to go down here. Into here. So you already did the Team Rocket thing, I presume. What Team Rocket thing? The Team Rocket thing. The hideout in Mahogany Town. Yes. Yeah. I did that in the last episode. I already. I said that at the beginning of this episode. All right. What's this guy gonna say? Oh, are you a newcomer too? Let's recruit new members for Radio Tower mission. No one ran out of uniforms. I just threw you off some, so I decided to borrow one. Still here, why don't you change as well? Are, are, do we get changed in front of this? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. No, awesome, that's weird. You mean awkward? <laughs> awkward, awkward? Look at you, pretty good. OBC oh, tries to scare people walking around looking like that, okay? I mean, my red gear should probably scare people enough, so I don't think I'm gonna be scaring people anymore. Yo, look at. Look at our, look at us, look at us, look at us. All you stole from somebody, I don't think that's justified from being the protagonist. Uh, what did this person say? Really, this I'll play with Devin, okay. And I just remember them saying, like, personalized things to paint, like, because you were wearing the, the, uh, uniform thing. Well, Anyways. Hi, you must be new, you look pretty good in the Team Rocky uniform, go on ahead. Oh, no. Hey, Team Rocket. Sorry, it's not going to get control until you cowards. Oh, huh? are you Devin? What are you doing here? No way, you think you're strong now that you look like them? That's foolish. You shouldn't wear those things. Really, Toro? What, you? You're not a newcomer done battle with me. What? Fine. What? I have no problems with battling with you. Have you s There's a red Gyarados thing right next to me. And you can be like, oh yeah, battle me. I can totally beat a shiny Gyarados and five other Pokemon. What? What? What is a sorcery? Um. Let's surf. Surf. Soif. Soifen. We soifen. This is Hawaii. We soifen. Siphon. Scythe. What? Scyther? Siphon. Oh, like you mean like. Okay. Like. I get it, James. Why do you think it keep appearing on my screen? Mm -hmm. Little dust things? No, they're like. I know what they are. Fibrous hairs? I don't know. It's because they have a shag carpet. Um, that's not it, guys. I said no. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, another eradicate. Eradicate! Let's just say again. I fear not eradicate. But I hate them, you know? Remember the, hash remember the hashtag from a couple of episodes ago? Eradicate. I said eradicate. Place that C with an H. And you got how I feel about Radicate. I mean, I'm gonna heal just to be on the side of safeness. Alright, oh, kids, safety first. Safety first, kids. Except when it's last. Safety first. Except when it's last. Safety foot crunch. Boy. 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 Yeah, that's a ice thing. That should be a dead eradicate. Eradicate. 
and 297 EXP to get Team Rocket Grunt. 960 in your monies. Are too powerful. You can spoil it, but I don't fool the others. No, no, no. I see, you were trying to be sneaky. Huh, a typical idea of the meek. No matter how you handle this, I have to defeat the dragon team, which is named Lance. I bet that'll be your turn. Be ready for it. Okay, so let me get a track. He just showed up, sabotaged your disguise to stop Team Rocket, which he also would be, would support. And then, he just, and then makes us take off our uniform, and then he just leaves. Wow. That's all I had to say. Is wow. Um, I just, oh, okay, I guess I used up all my super potions. Uh, okay, hyper potion. On Red Levi. <sighs> and let's proceed. I and in Pokemon, uh, Gen 5, were you able to buy revives? I don't remember. I think you are. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, why do they want to go later time? Okay. okay. Um, battle me. Battle me. Really tough. Battle me, all of you peoples. Okay. Yeah, I will keep you amused. Keep me amused. Because beating you Team Rocket Grunts so can, be, can get pretty boring sometimes, so amuse me. Catterbuck! 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 Alright. Intimidate. Cut oh. Intimidate for Intimidate. Okay. I see you, big dog. Surf. That's a surf. Catch this surf. Screech. Screech! Screech! Catterbuck! Catterbuck! That's, it. That's how a rock actually sounds in the anime games. Do you know that? I don't know. M one might also ask why Victory Bell literally just screamed the anime. Just like, the screaming is fun. It's literally Victory Bell in the anime. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I can do pr some pretty good polar impressions, like, Get skewer. No, hang on, I need to get, I need to. Snivy. Tap it, tap it. Rumble. Superior. Hasha, hasha. Do what? Do what? I know what Sam Rock sounds like, sorry. Oh, what else can I do? Say what do? Leave on me. Uh, Penya, Penya. Scroller, Scroller. And now he's going through my Pokemon repertoire. Uh, what else can I do? Track it back. Track it back. Sand dryer. I can't think of anything else. If I think of anything else, I'll say it, obviously, but yeah. I don't know what Litwick's line sounds like. I really should find out what a Litwick line sounds like, actually. I'm embarrassed. What? I'm embarrassed for you for this impression. Again, you know that um, in the uh, genocide movie, one of the genocides literally had a voice like, I want, I want to go home. Like that kind of voice? Like, yeah, well, I mean, I can say that, but that kind of voice. Gastro acid, no. I mean, if you look at Janice, I know how tough it looks, and that's just like little girl voice. I don't know. You just kind of get the same way it makes you go like, aww. Makes you feel bad for it. It's a little, little genocide that just wants to go home. Then at the same time, they're kind of. I don't know. I feel like Team Plasma kind of cruel, because like, they knew the genocide's home was like not, not existent. And, and I guess they didn't know that the genocide would specifically seek out their home without knowing that their home was not, not not a thing anymore because it was like 300 million years later, but still. Also, shout out how they just throw random numbers around in the Pokedex entries, like how they say like 3,000 3, degrees Fahrenheit in certain entries. Yeah, like how Mag Cargo would kill you. Yep. Or I think there's something about Flareon, sort of like a, a flame in of like 300,000 degrees Celsius or something, and it's in quote-unquote internal fire sack. Internal fire sack? What? I'm serious. Look up like any of Flareon's Pokedex entries. It'll say something about that. I swear I'm not making this up. I I swear I'm not I making this up. You, but I I don't understand why this is a thing. I don't either. Which is exactly why I'm gonna ice fang this Zubat. That makes sense. Of course it does. 
Why wouldn't it? I make sense, James. I cr no, I create sense. I don't make sense, I create sense. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Oh, look, I can actually walk what James is doing. Oh, are you thinking on Flannery? Yeah. Cool. In Flannery Town. I said I was in Flannery Town. Uh, yeah, I know. I guess I'm thinking it would be taking on the gym that quickly. Then again, I guess I, I haven't recorded for like 25 minutes, so. Yeah, you probably should end it after this battle. No, I mean, no, I usually have my episode like 25 to 30 minutes, so. Oh, yeah, good point. Like, like in, in this series, I try to make my episode longer. I'm gonna try to do that for all my future playthroughs. Try to have like longer, longish episodes. Because I, I mean, I know some people like shorter episodes, but honestly, my perspective is the longer the episodes are, the less episodes I have to have in total. Like, I don't want to have like a, 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 a playthrough with like 80 episodes. And then, yeah. The thing is though, like, if you're looking for a specific thing, uh, the same one your videos, you have to look for more footage. Yeah, I know, but like, like what I do with the thumbnails is, if any major event happens, in the, happens in the thumbnail, like a, like a, like a gym battle or a Team Rocket battle, I usually have that on the thumbnail, so people will know what I do in that episode. Yeah. Like whenever I take on a gym leader, I always make sure to have the gym leader in the thumbnail. Okay. Whenever I take and um and like last and like last episode when I took on Ariana, one of the Team Rocket admins. I had her on the thumbnail. Yeah. With her Murko, because the Murko nearly killed Amethyst. Yeah. Spoiler, not spoiler. Well, I mean, it's if, coming if it, out after that. If you got, it, and, well, I mean, some people might, might, some people might have missed the last episode. Which, if they, if you did, shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you like should, me. You should definitely go check out the last episode. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about like anyone, anyone who's watching this that didn't see the last episode, go check it out. It was pretty cool. I refuse that. At least for now. Right now. I'm well, I understand that you're, you're, yeah. Muck. Holy muck. Holy muck, it's a muck. What, what is holy muck? What does muck rhyme with that would go in that sentence? That doesn't make any sense. The F word? Oh, yeah. Not rhyme. Sorry, I was thinking, I was thinking I was rhyming. 630? 420. 420! 420! 420! 420 experience. <laughs> okay, um, my cousin set up uh, for set up alarm for the iMac, and just it is amazing when you just forget about it and just then suddenly you use four twenty blazing in the most computerized yo, doll Gens, voice. Yo, Gens, you want to you want to say cool? You want to say hilarious? On uh, April twentieth, like you know that's day, the day of four twenty, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, someone came to my, came, came, someone at my school, someone in my class was wearing a Mountain Dew hoodie. Do you get, no, but do you get it though? Pro Ammo G360 No Scope 4. Yes, exactly. I, I, I'm not, I don't care. That's a joke. Alright, well, I'm screw you. <laughs> you too, buddy. Screw you. Another 420 experience. Hat, 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 I got, hat, I got 420 experience again, dude. Okay. Dude. Dude. Oh my god, dude. Totally radical, dude. No? Okay. Screw you two. <laughs> yo, yo, James, what do you think of the music in this game? I think I, I, I remember I said in, the pre in a previous episode that's pretty good. Yeah. I love the music in this game. Then again, I guess when you're playing through a game a lot, then you tend to like the music of it, but, you know. Radita. Um, Diesel. Show Diesel some more love. Diesel needs to be shown love. Diesel is lovable. Diesel is a very lovable character. Diesel is a very lovable character. Right, James? Mm -hmm. Don't you think Diesel is a very lovable character? He's a blank... She, she, okay. Diesel he slash she is a blank slate for you to project a character onto. So it's not a character so much as um, the idea of a character. I feel like he gets hurt Diesel's feelings. What feelings? Pokemon yeah. fe Pokemon feelings, dude. Come on. It's a hunk of steel and rock. Are you implying that that are you implying that Pokemon don't have feelings? I'm implying that AI does not have feelings. Either all Pokemon have feelings or no Pokemon have feelings. Make up your mind. If a psychic cat has feelings, so does a hunk of steel, a, a quadruped hunk of steel. Quadrupod? I don't know. 
Anyways, um, look at the time of the episode. I would say it right here is good. I'll so go ahead and wrap up today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash like button down below for us, because you already know you should really greatly appreciate it. And answer the question of the day, which is again, what is your favorite ice type Pokemon? But with that, me and James are going to get about. Thank you all once again for your support and thank you for getting the video. Any last words, James? Catch up. That's old. Alright. Peace.